This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this new free offer for my viewers. Spring is here, it's time for a dust off. The mower needs sorting, the garden looks wrecked, and the barbecue needs some work. You might enjoy doing these jobs, but if you don't or can't, you're gonna need to pay someone else to do it. And that takes money. Noble Gold can help you with that by investing in precious metals along with your other investments. And this month, Noble Gold is gifting a genuine, rare Carson City minted Morgan Silver dollar with every qualifying IRA or 401k you do. So get in touch with the experts at Noble Gold. You can find that link in the description or pinned comment. Or call 877-646-5347. Uh, if... Your biggest idea, your biggest problem is that there's too much democracy. And so too much voting, we got to crack down on that. Too much speech and protesting, we got to crack down on that. Too much access to information, let's crack down on that. And for a party, the Republican Party, that makes pornography of patriotism and practically fellates the founding fathers, just to attack tonight. America <laughs> We know where way. her mind is tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Late the founding fathers. I think I Who lost all my. That? <laughs> what? She's gone full woke supremacist. I just love how even April Ryan is like, what the hell did you just say? And spare me, Cup. Who is it attacking the flow of information and half the country's ability to participate in this democracy? It's the left. It's Democrats. It's their party state media. It just drives me completely nuts listening to these hacks lie over and over and never having to substantiate any of it. There's never anybody on these shows to push back because their arguments are flimsy and easily refuted. The majority of voters support voter ID, and it's not hard to get one. In S.E. Cup's twisted, warped mind, not allowing illegals to vote is an attack on democracy because we have less people voting. And again, this conflation of riots and protesting. There's no law against protesting. It's against rioting. S.E. Cup is not to be taken seriously. She's in this for the money and power. She knows very well that she can't continue to be a conservative in the media, and she's doing what conservative media commentators typically end up doing. Bashing their own side to get the recognition that they so desperately need. As conservative journalist Kathleen Parker once admitted, Something big happened last night. Yeah. A conservative won a Pulitzer Prize. It just never happens with us on the phone right now. Pulitzer Prize winner Kathleen Parker. You know, it's only because uh, I'm a, a conservative basher that I'm now recognized after 23 years of toil in the fields, right? Well, this is what it looks like when you'd rather rape democracy than come up with your own ideas. But and for a party, the Republican Party, that makes pornography of patriotism and practically fellates the founding fathers. <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means. But apparently we love our country too much. She doesn't love the country too much. She's evolved now. But then in the very next second, she's accusing Republicans of attacking America. So let's just get this straight now. Rioting, tearing down American history and culture, mass censorship of her political opposition, dehumanizing half the country, propaganda state media for one party, a wall around the Capitol, single party rule. All these things are loving America. Opposing all of these things, standing up for the First and Second Amendment, standing up for liberty and America's history, these things are all American pornography that are attacking America and democracy. Yes, folks, we are straight up living in the world that George Orwell wrote about, and I'm not sure there's any going back. If you'd like to support my mission to expose the real threat, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.